Hello, so I have not been on YouTube for a long time. Uh, I'm coming back to you with a collective haul of items that I've purchased probably over the last um, three to four months. Um, I do go shopping, thrift store shopping quite often. Um, and I tend to always find really great things. So uh, I'm going to try and condense some of the things that I've found uh, more recently and uh, we'll get started. So probably some of my favorite things that I've found lately have been um, this pair of docks. So these are actually um, in dock sizes. They're actually about a size and a half too big for me. I take a size five and these are a six and a half but I could not pass them up like uh, yeah, they were $25 from uh, Goodwill, which I normally don't shop in, but I could not resist buying these. And I'll just wear them with really woolly socks, and uh, they'll be okay. Um, so yeah, like I said, those were $25. Um, I purchased these actually a long time ago, probably like last year. They're the same style, but they actually fit me. And these were $17.99, so a little more expensive. Um, then I would normally pay for the flaws that are in them, like it's missing the tab on the back, um, and the inside's a little bit worn, but I, I actually had to exchange something, so it ended up working out anyways, because I didn't have to buy, I didn't have to pay for them, essentially. Um, I actually just bought these last week, and I got these Mary Jane Doc Martens in my size. I found them for ten dollars and I love them. Yeah, so I've quit the dock collection for me. Um, I'll just do accessories first and then we'll get into kind of clothing items. So I found these earrings. Uh, and these were $2.99, and I thought they were really cool. I thought if I didn't want to wear them as earrings, then I could always wear them as a necklace. But um, so far, they're working good as earrings. Uh, I also found this um, little cute little train case. It was actually purple, and uh, I painted it black, and I also put uh, an emblem because it was almost like a like a coin thing, uh, like a piggy bank. So I covered with this piece of metal that I had just in my craft stuff. And so now you can't see where the slot was and it makes a really cute little club purse. Um, some of the other items I found are these paintings. These were $2.99 each. Uh, and I just thought they were beautiful. There was actually a series of four of them, but the other two weren't done. And uh, so I didn't pick those up, so I only picked up these two. <clears throat> Probably one of the things, so often when I'm thrifting and I find something that I really like, I squeal, even if I'm alone. This happened to be when I was uh, thrifting with my sister, and um, so she was in the store looking towards the back and I was looking at the shoes. And she happened to find this bag, and I am obsessed with aliens, among other things. But when she found this bag, I, I nearly died. I was like, eee! So, yeah, this is an awesome bag. And this was only $1.99. I was so excited about that. Um, just like a book item that I found is these, uh, this witchcraft, which is craft guide. Um, I haven't started reading it yet, but it's quite funny. Like, so I thought that was cool. Really cool kind of old style um, design for the book, almost made to look as if it was antique. Um, so I will eventually get around to reading that. Some earrings that I've purchased are these also. So these were actually just plain white, but I thought they looked like eyeballs. So what I did is I took some 
puffy paint and I uh, made them into bloodshot eyes. So now they're bloodshot eyeball earrings. And then also these holographic. Um, it doesn't really do it justice. The lighting in my room kind of sucks. Like I can't even, I can't even show you. But I thought if I didn't want to wear these as earrings, because I tend to not be really a heart person, I could also wear it as a ring. And those were $1.99, and these were $2.99. Um, and I think this one was, I want to say it was like maybe $2.99. It wasn't that expensive. Um, so now we'll get on to clothing. Okay, so I'm going through a really big t-shirt phase where I have to have t-shirts. I always look at the men's t-shirts, which happen to be the greatest t-shirts um, in the store. So one of the first ones I, uh, I have on top of my pile here is a Ghostbusters 2 shirt. And it's perfect because it's black and normally I don't wear anything but black. Um, and it actually has um, a copyright of 1989 can't really tell there but um, I'm thinking that it might be an actual non-replicated um, piece of merchandise which is always cool um, oh gosh I'm gonna say I probably paid maybe $3.99 and then I have this t-shirt here I really liked the kind of Andy Warhol um, idea of it all. I'm thinking about altering it, but I'm not sure yet. And I think that this was probably, I feel like it was $1.99. It was super cheap. Um, <laughs> I also, uh, I'm in my 30s, so I actually grew up in the 90s. And was extremely into the grunge um, scene. So I listened to Nirvana and uh, Radiohead, um, you know, Stone Temple Pilots, Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, all of that stuff. So whenever I see something that is from that time, I feel like I have to get it. It makes me feel good, it brings me back to good times. So, um, I picked up this shirt. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is a replicated shirt. It's not an original. Uh, on the front, it has uh, Kurt Cobain, and it has, um, like, a print from one of the albums. Um, and then on the back, which is the coolest part, which I think is I'm going to make the front after I DIY it, is Kurt Cobain holding Francis Bean. And his t-shirt says Grunge is dead. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> and this was $4.99. Steep. But, like I said, and it makes me feel good. I can't help but picking it up. Uh, I also picked up this really great shirt that was only $2. Um, it's It might be too dark <laughs> to really see. This is... Um, it says the goths, can you kind of tell there, my lighting is really bad, so sorry about that, um, this one I paid, I feel like this was maybe $2.99, and this is a He-Man shirt, and it's like a dark gray, so I can still get away with wearing that. I don't tend to wear really colored items, just more black. I'm just going to turn on the light. One second. Oh, is that better? Oh, okay. Okay, um, I paid, this is, I was really debating on this thing and I was I don't know. I was like, should I get it? It was eight dollars. It's not really appropriate season to wear it right now, but whatever. So I picked up this um, sweater, and it's Batman. 
car. It has just a plain symbol on the back, but in a really nice green and blue. And then on the, the sorry, that was the front, and then the back it says forever. So I decided I had to get that one. Um, sometimes I get really lucky, and I actually find things of things that I like. I actually, if something is in style or on trend, which I don't normally follow. Or if something um, that I'm really obsessed with at the moment, um, I can usually find it at the thrift store. So I happened upon, uh, this was probably a little over a year ago, I happened upon this most amazing piece of um, material ever made. And it is an X-Files shirt. I actually don't even think I paid a lot of money for it. I think it was maybe like $2.99, but I probably would have paid like $10 or $15 because I'm crazy like that. Um, but I love the X-Files, so it was just, it was a no-brainer. Um, let's see, what else? I have two more pieces to show you for this haul, and then... Hopefully I'll get into regularly making videos again and then I can show some more items. So this is something I bought um, last week. Um, and this is, it's really not appropriate for the weather that we're having right now. It's quite hot. But I found this button up fleece with kind of pre studs in it already. And so this will be really great for the fall. Um, that was $7.49, so, and it was regular $14.99, 14 um, but it was, um, it was a tag that was on sale, so I got it for 50% off, but it was, even, even then I was debating, because that's quite a lot to spend on a thrifted item, um, but it's really soft, and it turns out I didn't even realize it, but it turns out it's from Guess, so, uh, not that I care, but, you know. If I ever wanted to resell it, I could maybe get some money for it. And then my last piece of item for this haul would be this um, kind of brocade um, blazer. So this blazer I got at Tilly's. See, you can see the detail in there. I got at Tilly's, and it was only $5.99. Um, yeah, I just really liked it. It's black. So it'll go with everything. I thought I could spruce it up with some pins and uh, maybe put a patch on the back or a patch on the shoulder. So that's all I have for right now. Sorry if I'm looking in that direction <laughs> when I'm supposed to be looking there. But my iPad is tilted so it's it, it's weird and I, I'll figure it out eventually and it won't be as awkward. But it's really awkward right now. <laughs> so. I hope you enjoyed, and um, I hope to be making a lot more videos, and uh, subscribe, comment, uh, tell me what your favorite piece was. I'd imagine most people's favorite pieces are going to be these items, um, my Doc Martens. So, I uh, hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.